In today's video, we're going to go over the handicap system and the missing scores report and how to configure this on your side. So the first step is we're going to go into tea time management, member handicaps, and then the system profile. In here, choose which membership interface you're a part of. For my club, I'm going to be a part of Gin. Then you're going to turn on the active flag, choose your association number. You can use the lookup list for this and choose which association you're a part of. After that, enter your club number and click OK. After that, you'll have to enter the CDH number for each one of your members. So go into the member profile here, and then you're going to enter your member number. And then on the right hand side of your screen, make sure this field is set to active. Make sure the CDH membership flag is on and that the association is correct. And then after that, enter their CDH number. And CDH stands for Central Database of Handicaps. After that, click OK. Now the other spot in Jonas where you can enter that CDH number is in Club Management, Member File, and Setup Edit Members. In here, enter your member number. And then on the right hand side of your screen, you have a handicap profile. In there, you'll see the exact same screen. So you can enter that CDH number right here. It's important to note that any new members that join the club, you'll have to enter their handicap number in here going forward. As a side note, if you would like to upload all these numbers into your membership profile, you can contact the professional services team at Jonas and we can upload all these numbers into Jonas for you. All you would need is an Excel spreadsheet with your member number and handicap number. Now that we've entered all the numbers for our members handicaps, we can run this member handicaps update. Now this is the connection between Jonas and your handicap interface. So it is important to note if we click on the F1 button here and bring up the help guide, you can see for Jin clients, this would typically be done twice a month. Whereas for GolfNet and Saga, this is done on a daily basis. And depending on how many members you have in the system, this might take a couple minutes to run. So to run it, I'm going to click into that program and then I'm just going to click OK. Now that we've updated those member handicaps, we can run our missing scores report. So let's click in here. And now you have to determine how you want to sort this report by member number, name or CDH number. You can run this for all members or just selected members uh, for all rosters or selected rosters. If you're using the roster program, you can run this for all missing scores or for only scores of a certain date range. So you can run this every week or every month. This next field is important for who is included on this report. The best example I have for this field is if you have a member down as playing 18 holes in today's T sheet. However, in the handicap system, they entered nine holes. If this field is set to match holes played, they will be included on this report as a missing score because those two things didn't match. Whereas if you input ignore holes played, even though they're in Jonas's 18 holes, but they entered a nine hole score, we're going to ignore that and we'll count that as a round entered. Below that, we have the report usage option. And what this means is if you select handicap committee, then you can print or email off this report and it would include everybody that's included in this missing scores report. Or you can hit per member, in which case you would send out an email to every member that's included on this report. And then in the body of the email, which you would select in here, this is the message that they would get. So this you would have to create ahead of time and we'll take a look at how to create that in just one moment. But for my example, I'm going to use the handicap committee and then I'm going to print off this report and view it. And this is what our missing scores report is going to look like. So here we have one member with their CDH number, and then we have a couple rounds that they've played that they haven't entered into the handicap system. So this is what the report would look like when you view it. Now, when you send it out to your members, this is what the report is going to look like. The member will see the body of the email which we'll take a look at how to create in just a moment. And then if you look at the attachment, this will bring up the missing scores report just for the one member. So they would only see their own individual missing scores. So let's take a look at how to create the body of the email. So to create that, we're going to go into administration and then letter designer. Then in here, once you select your club, choose the type of form as the very last one in this list for member handicaps letter. 
Okay, you would click add another document if you haven't done this before. And then in here, this will be the body of the email that you'll send out to all your members. So everything that you see in brackets there, these are fields that will automatically be populated for each individual member. And in order to add those on the right hand side of your screen, you can choose some member fields to input. So I input their title and surname. And then in terms of what's included in this body of the email, that's completely up to you. The last thing to note for this missing scores report is there is a module in Jonas called Club Automation. If you have that module, you can have this report run automatically every day, and you can either have it send to your members automatically at the end of the day, or you can have that report send to an email of your choice, in which case you can review that missing scores report on your own. If you'd like more information on this, make sure you contact your salesperson at Jonas, and they can certainly give you a walkthrough of the Club Automation module.